Hello, this is the video to explain information about your computer project that is coming up soon. So you ready? Alrighty. On the Blackboard site, you have a tab label, label computer project, which is here, and you're going to have these files up under the computer project tab. The first link is computer project information. That is this sheet here that has all of the data about the computer project. We're going to come back to this sheet. Then you have the Excel template. You're going to use this file in order to complete the computer project. The Excel file is open here. And again, I'll come back and explain how to use the Excel file in a few minutes. Next, you have the analysis form. So once you've done all the actual work for the project, you're going to analyze the actual company. There's a Word document here, which is the analysis form. You're going to give a written analysis of the company that you'll send to the uh, stockholders of the corporation. And once you've done all the work, you completed the Excel file, you completed the analysis form, you're going to download both of those files here where it says turn in link. You'll click on the turn in link. Then you'll find the actual files and you're going to click on the browse my computer button, download those files, then click on the submit button. Notice the due date. The project must be submitted no later than 11 p.m. on Monday, November the 19th. Okay, let's take a look at the computer project information. First, what we have are financials for SMC Incorporated. We're seeing their 2017 financials. There's their balance sheet, their income statement, and their post-closing trial balance. Next, you have the transactions for this company that took place during the year of 2018. Their labor from transaction A down to transaction letter Q. You are asked to do the following on the Excel spreadsheet provided in Blackboard on the Computer Project tab. One, journalize the transaction for the current year of 2018. So for each of these transactions, you're going to go to the Excel template. The first worksheet is your chart of account. It shows the account tile to use for this project. And next you have the journal entries. So you're going to record the journal transactions here on the journal worksheet. I've even completed the first one for you. You're welcome. So again, record the journal entries here on the journal sheet. All right. Next, set up T accounts and enter the beginning balances from the December 31st, 2017 post-closing trial balance into the T accounts. So here is your post-closing trial balance. And each of these accounts have a beginning balance, so cash $34,500. You're going to take those amounts and record those balances into the appropriate T accounts, like for cash, 34,500. You're going to record each of these beginning balances into the appropriate T account. That's going to be your next step. Once you've recorded those beginning balances in the T account, you'll then post all of the current year journal entries into those T accounts. So again, if I look at my first transaction where the debit cash for 35,000, I'm going to post that 35000 to the cash T accounts. So all of your journal entries you have listed here, you're going to post them into the appropriate T account. All right. Once you journalize all of your transactions, next up, you're going to journalize and post any required adjusting entries. Now, I've given you a hint. Items B, C, D, E, O, and P, Go back again. B, C, D, E, O, P, and Q, they all require you to do adjusting entries. So you read the information here, determine 
what type of adjustments to be made at the end of the accounting period. On your journal tab, you can record the adjusting entries here on the adjusting entries worksheet. Once you've made all the adjustments, you will then post those adjustments into the applicable T accounts. Once you post your adjustments, determine what is going to be the ending balance for each of your T accounts. You then take each of those T accounts in the balance and prepare your adjusted trial balance. So each of the account, each of your T accounts should be listed on the adjusted trial balance. The exception will be the income summary T account. That account is not used until the close of the entry process. So the income summary T account will not be shown on your adjusted trial balance. From the adjusted trial balance, prepare your income statement, your statement of retained earnings, as well as your balance sheet. After you complete your financial statements, we're then going to go through the closing entry process, better known as READ, R-E-I-D. Remember those four steps that we go through to close out the account that are temporary at the end of the accounting period. You're going to post all of your closing entries. Once posted, go back to your T account. So you're going to journalize all your closing entries. Once you're done, Go back to your T account and post those closing entries into the appropriate T account. Next up, you prepare your post-closing trial balance. Now remember that you only have permanent accounts shown on your post-closing trial balance. That's because any account that is temporary, it now will have a zero balance. So complete your post-closing trial balance next. Next, you have a tab to do your ratios for the current ratio and your debt to asset ratio, your duration for both the years of 2017 and for 2018. Okay, so once you've completed all of those ratios, so we talked about steps one, step two, step three, step four, step five, step six. And then the last step is to interpret the question, what is your overall assessment of the company's financial health? You're gonna use this Word document here. You're gonna write a memo to the shareholders doing an analysis of this company based upon the information shown in the financial statements and based upon the ratios you prepare give an overall assessment of how well this company is performing or if they're not performing well indicate that too but give rationale or reasoning as to why you're making that decision okay so once you've completed each of these tabs on the excel worksheet once they've all been completed you'll save this file you do your analysis in the Word document, say that file as well. You'll then come back to the Blackboard site, click on the Turn In link, upload the Excel file and the Word document to Excel. Now, if there's questions about the project, if you want to submit it to me a little bit early or have questions on anything, feel free to send me an email and I'll be happy to address your questions and lead you in the right way. Again, this project must be completed and submitted no later than 11 p.m. on Monday, November 19th. Okay? All right.